started to, to go into the, uh, the employment agreements or the employment contracts. So you've got relationships that govern the business and the business owners. What's, what are some of the, the agreements or what should be in place from a legal standpoint to make sure that you are in compliance with your employees or that you're treating your employees correctly? Sure, sure. Um, again, there's a couple, uh, we'll call them constitution. <coughs> you know, you need the constitution in place in terms of how businesses are going to govern their employees. That would be uh, your employment handbook. So I advise companies, um, at A, I prepare company, uh, employment handbooks for companies, but I also get called in and consult with this policy, sh this policy should be included or excluded, or how do we frame the language. Um, I'm a big proponent on businesses should be flexible and nimble enough to run the business the, the way they need to and want to. I just come in, uh, so I make it nimble where they can be fluid in that, but I also have the right legal protections in place. But that's the core document for employees would be an employment handbook. That's a pretty basic um, idea, um, but that's a really important document. Sometimes I think it's overlooked because it's such an important document and the wording and the language is very important. How, how often is that updated or should be updated? An employment handbook, I'd recommend it's updated, I'd say, um, at least two years, but the really, if you want to uh, be um, protect yourself the most in terms of legal standpoint, I would look at it on an annual basis every year. Um, and then I'd also, if there's any change in the ownership structure or the company has evolved in any short, uh, shape, form, or fashion, either it uh, has expanded or maybe it's shrunk in some capacity or it's taking on new. Um, business lines, then I think the handbook should be um, should be re reviewed and tailored to. It moves along with the how the company evolves. So the size of the company also affects the details or what's included in that. Correct. And that also, handbook. Correct. And also, different companies govern their employment relationships. Um, they're all a little bit different in terms of the various industries they work in. Um, what, how many employees do they have? Do they have primarily high paid manager level professionals? Do they have um, hourly paid uh, workers? Um, is it a combination of both? Do they use independent contractors? So the terms all differ based on the industries and what the company needs. And that's another service um, that I think I provide in terms of making sure that the company understands, okay, this comports with the industry standards or this is how you need the policies to be structured to reflect the way you want to govern the employment relationship. So the employment handbook's crucial. Um, my experience has been most handbooks are a little bit too long and lengthy and tie companies' hands and somebody's told them you can't do this, that, or something else and they feel restricted in the employment relationship. So I make sure that companies can, uh, again, have the flexibility they need but comply with the laws. So that's the handbook. Mm -hmm.